I've welcomed this opportunity to meet with the Scottish Council for Development and Industry and a range of their members, which of course is a very broad and diverse range of members across uh, many fields within Scottish society. The SCDI is a great organisation for us to engage with because they represent such a spread of opinion within Scotland and it's been an opportunity to set out some of the current economic challenges that we face and some of the arrangements around the macroeconomic framework that could make Scotland a more prosperous and a fairer country. The Fiscal Commission was established to essentially assess the approach to creating a macroeconomic framework that the Scottish Government has taken forward in a very substantive and authoritative report informed by some of the most distinguished economist opinion in the world. They've established a, a very strong macroeconomic framework. The government is considering the contents of that and will set out a response in due course. But I think it should give confidence around a whole range of different key questions around the economic structures of an independent Scotland. And the Commission themselves have said that this represents a very strong and robust framework within which an independent Scotland could operate. On the last information available for 2011-12, Scotland had a relative surplus or advantage over the rest of the UK to the tune of £4.4 billion. Now what the Scottish Government has said is that we could have spent some of that resource on reducing our debt, we could have spent some of that in investing in our economy, we could have spent some of that in providing for the long term through a North Sea Oil and Gas Stabilisation Fund and also still had resources left over to tackle some of the iniquitous welfare reform changes that have been brought forward by the UK Government. But those choices only become available to Scotland if we are an independent country able to use our resources and to take forward those resources for the benefit of the people of this country.